It's been raining like this. We need rain, but not in the night time. Good morning, everyone. So I wanted to take a picture of uh, Lagoon Nebula and Trifold Nebula. These two are also called M8 and M20. Uh, these are in the Sagittarius region. And as recent as in 2005, Spritzer uh, Telescope took a picture, found like several young stars are being born. Uh, Hubble Telescope actually took the picture first in 97 of this uh, uh, nebulas. This is a very bright H2 region. Uh, what that means is young stars are being born in this area. They are uh, 5200 light years away from us. Um, it's part of our Milky Way region. Um, you need a wide field telescope to take a picture of these two nebulas together. So I'm planning to use the hyperstar. I'll show you my workflow. If I wanted to take good pictures of these nebulas, I have to take flats. So I go to the flat calibration and select my uh, profile for the hyperstar. I have to take sky flats, meaning you're not putting anything in the front. Um, notice my target uh, ADU is like 25,000. Uh, if your uh, camera depth is like 60,000, I would take anywhere between 20 to 30,000. 25 is optimal. Um, you can have minimum of zero and a maximum of like five seconds or half a second or whatever, depends on the time. The best time to take these flats would be like in the twilight time, um, like just before it becomes dark and after the sunset, point to a clear sky and start taking pictures. Um, I set up um, like, you know, just outside just to show you guys but i think uh, if i have to take this picture i usually take um, like a sky that is very clear so it takes it does the testing and basically say that these are the um, uh, exposure time that you need uh, in order to take the shot it gives me like a zero second right now uh, because it's like during the daytime and all but usually it gives you like one second or half a second or whatever and you go into your sequence and uh, take a flat um, of that particular uh, time frame. So finally, I took 750 pictures, uh, five seconds each. Uh, it took a couple of hours. I wrote them directly to the external hard drive. Um, I took the darks as well, like 50 of them. I, I integrated uh, the darks, the flats, and these lights, the pictures that I took the 750 in the deep sky stacker. And then I moved uh, these uh, final outcome into Pixinsight. I didn't want to do Pixinsight to integration for now because uh, of the time it takes basically for me to integrate these 750 pictures would be quite a bit. Here is one of the picture uh, that I took, the five seconds exposure. It came out okay. Um, I auto stretched it and you can see um, on the left side, the Lagoon Nebula on the right side, the trifold. Uh, the quality of the picture is coming okay. Um, I did use the light pollution filter uh, to make sure that uh, I don't catch any light pollution on it. So I moved my final integration image into Pixinsight for post-processing. Um, it took a while to post-process this picture because uh, number one, it's like 750 pictures. And number two, uh, you see the picture right now uh, with the screen transfer. Um, if I do a ABE on it, uh, that light pollution filter color will go away. Uh, but I had to do several times uh, the background extract um, to make it uh, easy on me. So I tried uh, multiple iterations of uh, uh, both the automatic and the dynamic background extract. Uh, I 
did it pretty light so that I'm not going to, you know, uh, take the resolution out of my good picture. So this is my final picture. Um, as you can see on the top, I did uh, almost uh, several times AB and DBEs and I have to do some noise reduction and I did a photometric color calibration. Once I complete um, uh, these steps, um, I was able to uh, convert that into a non-linear image and uh, here is my final picture. If I zoom in, you should be able to see uh, this is the lagoon nebula on the left. On the right side, you are seeing the trifid nebula as well. Uh, that region in the background is all the Sagittarius, the Milky Way region. So the picture came out uh, fairly well. I hope you guys liked it.